Alrighty, let's watch this in full. Okay, cool. I think after having watched the main thing over there is actually at the end. Once you get to here, that feels a bit strange. You got this coming up and then right around here is you get a kind of a slowdown in here and a bit of a like very isolated move through here without anything else and then a massive stop there but also another huge change in the fingers be careful how you are coming off of this pose i do like this i like how you have that compression loosening then relax but then throughout you could have a slight change in the finger pose also anticipating what creature's going to do next. So at this point, it gets a bit too, it's one pose only. And then it kind of just kind of pops into, not a super pop, but it kind of, it just feels like it gets there, does one movement and that's it. Also in a very, very straight pose. I would love to see something, you know, for something like that, if you could find more reference, is there anything specific that would be cool um, to add? Not just something where, you know, there's a move, but is anything specific, something interesting that they would do if they scratch like that? I mean, it's also, you know, it gets into a, almost a very human pose at the end as well. So there could be something where, have you found any footage when they sit down where we can really look at, that's a very specific way of sitting and moving and turning around and scratching so that this doesn't quite feel like a human acting it out. If that makes sense and then i will probably on that sit down get you know whatever shadowing you're using it feels like there's a gap so I'll go in there and lower that and have a, maybe a slight intersection to feel like it's pushing i don't know if you have any squishy controls on this here but i feel like the balance is better through there Thing that's happening here that catches my eye is that you have movement in the chest and the head moving to the right and it's a it feels just a bit locked where chest and the head are moving as one unit and it goes fairly quickly and instantly stops and it's almost like that head sticks in 2d space while the rest is moving down that makes sense. You can have maybe a bit more movement up with a slight break up where the head is dragging a little bit and then maybe the head goes up a bit more to look around. Not look around, but kind of lead a bit more so you feel a, a, a decoupling of the head and the chest. And if you're having a oh, impact of that, watch out. There's a slight feel of the shoulder going back, stop up. And I would simplify that a little bit with just a nicer arc. And if that is a stopping point, then for the rest to come in, again, I would decouple the chest and the head. It feels like the whole body moves. There's a slight change to there in the head rotation. That's cool, but I think you can start that a bit sooner with a slight bigger drag on the head. But I'm seeing a, a bit of a back and forth in that arm area, right, right through there. So there's a little bit of a, I see a rotation in there. There's something where you can see that this whole thing here, that arm goes to the right and then stops and then goes the other way and the arm starts to bend. If you could reduce that, it has a slight feel like this. If you just watch that arm during the section, wah -wah, it's a bit of a wobble there. That's a bit of a pop there, watch out. There's something a bit fast in this bend right through there just a tad and again a bit of a wobble in this arm and then watch out it feels like this shoulder comes up too soon there's no pressure yet and there's no raise of the arm this feels like a very deliberate shoulder move up before pressure is uh, applied. Even if you put the hand there, it's that 
not on this frame that this will go up. You still have to put this down and then put weight on this, which happens over here, this section. That's when all the weight pushes down here. That's when you get the spreading of the fingers and then the shoulder will go up but now the weight is on it. So watch out when you do move the shoulders. Looks better here because you're putting it down and then comes pressure and then this goes up. So this feels better there. This one I will probably reduce the shoulder a tiny bit just because it puts the hand down, but there's still a lot of weight on this leg and not this arm because there's a weight shift because of that leg coming up. So the most pressure is actually going to be on this leg here. So that amount of shoulder movement, I would actually reduce by half. Just so it doesn't feel like all the other ones. It feels a bit too much. If you play this pop up, there's a bit of a sharper move through there. And then the end. <laughs> all right. Hope that helps. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.